All right, so this video might be be three minutes long or something, uh, not five minutes, but hey, I don't care. Still gonna put five minutes. I'm just gonna talk very, very slowly. So today we got large cruisers. Time to give you guys the basic loadout on how to do a large cruiser build. All right, this is very easy. If you guys have attended the Guam event, best of slot, basically everything you need. Medium ar armor, heavy armor, very, very good here. It even has decent light armor damage as well too, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's actually okay for light armor. <laughs> Definitely not as good as the uh, Ozuma gun, but hey, this right here, you're pretty much never going to take this off. All right, very, very best in slot for medium and heavy armor. Now, regardless, uh, light armor, use Ozuma gun. This right here is called the Ozuma gun. You'll probably slap that on. Now, for medium armor, there are various choices here. Simple one is going to be the E-Girl gun right here. Very, very simple on top of that. Uh, if you guys want to go a little bit stronger one, this is from the, I think, Kronstadt event. So this right here is better on medium armor. But for the most part, not that much different. Um, if you guys have this gun at plus 13, just stick with it. I honestly just use this gun if I have a plus 13 this and plus 10 that. It doesn't make that much difference. It's not a big deal. Now, when it comes to heavy armor, same choices here. We're going to have the E-Girl gun and the uh, Kronstadt gun. But I think E-Girl gun is better, slightly. So 75 here, and this is an 80. Actually, no. Eh. Okay, yeah, this is better on heavy. I think it's about the same on medium armor. Okay, whatever, same thing. Uh, there's not much difference. Uh, this is better on heavy, but it's not that big of a deal. Most heavy cruisers, I mean, most large cruisers don't do that significant of a damage to have like a big meaning if, of that. Uh, but anyways, if you guys have uh, the... Well, I'm gun. So just stick to this. You, you really can't go wrong with this. Large cruiser for bossing. Bossing is usually heavy or medium armor most of the time. Just toss this on her. Very, very easy. Now, depending on the secondary slot, torpedoes. Torpedoes are very easy, guys. Since all of us are auto battlers, either you go the rainbow quince or the gold quads, whichever you guys prefer. Mix or match, whichever you guys like more. It's not that big of a deal. Damage, damage difference is very, very similar. The biggest takeaway is that this costs about 120 gold plates. This costs 360 gold plates. So you save triple if you made plus 13 uh, quad. Or not this gun. Or this torpedo. Sorry. This one. You save three times more. So 240 gold plates if you make these. So if you want to be cheap, stick to this. Otherwise, though, not a big deal. I go with this because, ooh, shiny rainbow. So it's not that big of a deal, though. Honestly, efficiency just go to quads. Now, if you guys have DD guns or whatever for like Azuma, um, just let me get Azuma here. Just toss in whatever gun you guys feel is good for DD. I just stack the highest firepower, which is 35 firepower. So any 35 firepower DD gun is fine. Um, Tashkent gun is okay. Baguette gun is okay. The Italian one is all right. It has some anti air on it, but 35 power, 35 power is like kind of whatever. I would just stick to a 35 one. There's multiple 35 ones. I only have Tashkent gun and the Baguette guns available. But for the most part, though, just toss on 35 and you should be straight. All right. Now, when it comes to the anti-air, very, very similar to how BBs are built. You either go hit or you go the Dido 15 firepower. Again, same thing as before. If the enemy is about the same level as you or lower, Use the Dido AA 15 firepower, these bad boys here. If the enemy is five levels higher than you, which is like Arbiter fights or enemies that has crazy, crazy evasion like destroyers, then you kind of want to have the stag bow first. Where they got right here, these things, all right. For the most part, though, is up to preference, but I like damage more, so I go firepower most of the time, but I will use hit occasionally because of either high level uh, bosses. Or just I need more accuracy. All right. Now, when it comes to auxiliaries, one auxiliary is always meant for washing machines. If you guys don't know what washing machines are, it's these things right here. Since large crews have crazy, crazy health pools, uh, you might you get more value out of evasion because they don't have as high evasion as they have HP. So stacking more evasion is definitely the way to go right here. Now, for the secondary slot, is up to you on what you want to do here. There's various various items you can toss here. Uh, to get a good build for large cruisers. Uh, the most generic one is going to be the VH plating since most of them, aside from E-Girl, are medium armor. This makes it so your large cruisers become uh, heavy armor 
from medium armor. And then if it's like an e-girl using it, you get reduced damage on AP, which is very, very good here. Pretty much, if you guys are pushing high-level maps like Chapter 14 and 15, this auxiliary right here is very, very good as a front tank for your uh, fleets. All right. Otherwise, though... Uh, numerous things can work here. If you guys are doing EX mode, Pearl's tier is very, very solid. If you're using like Guam or something, you want to get a little angsty or whatever with uh, survivability. The Eagle Unit thing is fine. Uh, the new RPG Adventure interface is also very, very solid. Good buffs in here. Very, very good. And then if you guys would just want to go raw damage for whatever reason, uh, the Fumo 25 is okay. I like the gold burn because it gives 60, uh, 640 HP as well as 38 reload for proccing more of those barrages. Very, very solid choice. Again, this is up to you guys on what you want to slot in for the second slot. I just go for more HP because we already have the washing machine. Just use what's comfortable for you and you should be okay. All right. Very, very easy build. Wow. That's actually six minutes. Okay. Well, five minutes my ass. <laughs> I'll see you guys next video. I'm out of here.